Okay, we are recording. Hey, everyone. Right here, she says. So, <laughs> this is M and M and M play Gloomhaven. Mm hmm. And cute play Gloomhaven. <laughs> oh, I forgot to get my little guys out. All right. Thanks for joining us. We are once again braving the game of Gloomhaven. Um, this time, <laughs> we we are making progress actually in the main campaign. It seems like so. We are um, um, we had just finally after like four attempts or whatever helped free somebody named Redthorn from an orchid slave pen or something like that. Then we helped him exact revenge against Enoch's slavers uh, and he was not satisfied but he agreed to help us in the future and so now he's a recruitable character or a, um, I mean a you know someone who yeah. can be um, did, did you did you check out the um, I've forgotten the name of it I, I checked it out he's like a battle archer like big mm. arrows and doom and that I'm pretty awesome. excited I'm yeah, I know. I want to play as I want to play as that character class, but alas, I'm nowhere near retirement. So yeah, me neither. Um, so, anyways, he freeing him unlocked the next uh, mission in the actual campaign, which is to again like figure out what the hell is going on surrounding the city of Gloomhaven and track down cultists, and then like go to different planes and like shut down some shadow things and stuff like that and like destroy some artifacts and all this stuff. It's been over a year. We're making progress. And we are making making progress. This one seems seems pretty significant. The shadow wield weld? I don't know how to yes. pronounce the word. <laughs> it's like old English. So I don't know how to pronounce that. It's it's like wool. Like, uh, like. Is it the, really like, um, an early version of just world? I think it's an early version of wood, like forest. Oh, wood. Okay. I think. I could be totally wrong. Do not quote me. I know people who know better than that. So there's going to be somebody like. What we should do is just like completely misstate things and then we'll get viewers. Because <laughs> then they'll be hopping into our YouTube. and they'll be angry. <laughs> um. Another thing that's are we playing, exciting. Are we playing um, at normal or easy now? Oh, I think we should play at normal. That was my thought too, but I just wanted to double check. Yeah, except with the boss fight that we're about to do. Um, but, it, you know, yeah. it'll be fine. Um, it'll be fine. <laughs> one thing, so big news, I think, uh, is the well-played journal is doing a special issue on uh, playing games during the pandemic. Melissa and I submitted a video about us playing Gloomhaven over the past year, over over the over or more than one year. Um, and Drew Davidson, who's the editor of the journal, took a look at the video and he really liked it. And um, I believe Yay. that basically means uh, our video will be part of the journal that's going to come out. Nice. Hopefully that's cool. And. Public. I'll try to. Okay, hold on. <laughs> this is what we're doing. If this is what you're planning to do, you need to go. We're playing. Can't check anything out. No, that's not. You can check things out when we're not on video. <laughs> that was the deal. But anyways. So we're gonna do a second, a second publication at some point about how to play grown-up games with an eight-year-old. That sounds good. Yeah. And also how to deal with dogs that like chewing plastic miniatures. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I did find that one miniature. The dog did not eat that one miniature. Oh, so okay. eaten two, but not three. So if you tuned in last time, I was suspicious that he had eaten a third. Mm -mm, I found it. I just have a chaotic life. And so that's why yeah. I didn't know where. Yeah see chaotic life <laughs> okay well this will be an interesting video maybe it'll keep people engaged yes. um all right so 
we uh, have now gone back to the city of Gloomhaven and we have to do a city event, then we are going to go onto the road to go to the shadow wield wield thing. Yep. Um, and we have to remember to do these guys. Uh, oh, you Which guys? These guys. Uh, we got to remember to do those guys this time. Um, and I think that's it, basically. So uh, for city events, um, I drew event number six. Man, we're all up in the front lately. OK. You awake in the middle of the night to the sound of alarms ringing in the west. You recognize them as the warning clangs of an attack on the wall. Any force bold enough to assault the defenses of Gloomhaven can't be good. For a moment, you are grateful for the prolific number of guards defending the city. But still, there is always the possibility that the guards may not be enough. Option A, go aid in the defense of the city. Option B, if the guards are distracted by an attacking force, now would be the perfect time to steal some valuables. Why not? Well, I'm getting. Why not plan C? There is no plan C. But they're often. <laughs> There often should be plan C. You're right, but there's not a plan C. There's no go back to sleep. <laughs> I, I think we have to help. Or you can check go back home and sleep. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you, Peanut Gallery. Um, so I think since you're still a paladin, we have to go in defense of the city. I agree. All right. Woo! Um, you rush towards the west gate, eager to fight back the invaders. As you approach, you see a mass of vermlings climbing over the wall. Those darn vermlings. Climbing over the wall and attacking the guards with daggers and arrows. You yell and charge into the battle. It is a rough fight, but you emerge victorious, covered in fur and blood. The Jeez. citizens of Gloomhaven remain safe, and the town is free to grow and prosper. Gain five experience each and gain one prosperity. Awesome. Which I think that brings us up to prosperity level four. But hold on and let me double check. Is that a destroy the card one? It is a destroy the card one, yes. Change. Yeah, we do gain one. Uh, we... It's prosperity level four. That means that a whole bunch of stuff is now available at the shop. Mm. Should we go mm -hmm. buy stuff instead of going off immediately? Um, I don't know if that's exciting for anybody, but we could. Well, what, like, does it include the better stamina potion? It does. Well, then, like, we want that, don't we, right? We definitely want that. How much gold do I have? I have 24 gold. Let's check it out. Oh, I forget which. I've got to look and see which, which ones we get for higher prosperity. Uh... 29 to 35 get added. Twenty-nine to thirty-five. We should do it like an unboxing, right? Yeah. I like unboxings. I know you like unboxings. Okay. So we, there's, ooh, there's lots of stuff. A falcon figurine. Oh, that's another summon. Nice. Major stamina potion. Volatile bomb. A shield. A hawk helm. Studded leather. And comfortable shoes. Oh, comfortable shoes are nice too. Okay, I'm gonna sell back. Hold on, how much is this major stamina potion? It's 30. And then what's our, okay, minus five. So our price modifier is minus five. Okay. So that's, I think I'm going to sell back my minor healing potion. That means I get five back, right? I get half. I think so. Okay, enough enough of that, please. We're not being we're not being a werewolf right now. 
The major stamina potion is totally worth it, huh? Yeah. Okay, so that goes into back into the pile. And then so now I have two two stamina potions, a major and a minor. So I'm gonna sell my minor stamina potion and buy a major stamina potion. That would be twenty gold total. <sighs> Yeah, I was debating on keeping on um, selling the minor stamina potion for a major one, but I decided that since stamina is such a big deal for me compared to um, health, health is not usually such a big deal for me. What is going on here? We also unlock something in this um a little booklet oh in the book right we unlock bunches of stuff yeah which i don't know if this has an effect on oh it does it unlocks scenarios oh me all right so we haven't really been doing this in the videos so if, if anyone is interested uh, this is the adventurers that's us going to visit the town uh, I guess archivist slash librarian and um, with each prosperity level that the city gains um, you can go and basically visit the librarian again and so we just reached prosperity level four um, mm -hmm. and so a bunch you know some stuff happens basically um, it's basically just like history and lore for the for the world. Um, I don't know if we want to do it now or just do it off screen or what. Um, Let's do it after off screen. Because <laughs> okay. it's a lot to read. <laughs> yeah, it is a lot to read. Well, what do what do we unlock like scenario wise? Maybe we just say that it's a <laughs> The Oozing Grove, scenario number 72, which is not something that we're going to divert to go off and do now because we we totally just set up for this one. <laughs> that is very true, but I'll unlock it just so that. Yeah, it'll be an option for, for next time. Okay, so that's exciting. Yeah. So now we can start characters at level four, and I finally have enough stamina potions to do stuff. Yep. And okay. yeah. So we're leaving the city and going to, geez, the same event number, road event number six. Okay. Stumbling through the woods, you are alarmed to hear the sudden sounds of a large animal, animal rummaging through the underbrush. You crouch down, gauging the gr grunts and growls. Through the trees, you see a large bear approaching your location. It has not noticed you yet, but you imagine it will soon. Option A, take the opportunity to run from the, the bear before it gets any closer. Or option B, attack the bear, hopefully catching it by surprise. I think we need to take a lot of life. Why? I mean... Again, why is there not an option C? Well, I think the bear. Feed her berries. <laughs> yeah, it might be a friendly bear. Nice to the bear. Yeah, why is it option C? Be nice to the bear. All right. Close the door, please. <laughs> Let's leave the bear alone or flee, I guess. Okay. We're fleeing the bear. Oh, man. You bolt from hiding as fast as you can. Luckily, the bear is still a ways off and it gets bored with the chase before it can catch you. Still, you keep running and running until you can't catch your breath. Lose one check mark each and return it to the deck. What? I don't understand why losing your breath means you lose a check mark, but all right. Dang. Damn. It was not a friendly bear. 
That sucks. Indeed. Stupid bear. Indeed. No, no. It's stupid writers. <laughs> <laughs> Where's option C, writers? <laughs> oh, okay, that looks, so that we're going to Shadow Weald. Weald. Does that look super pixely to you? No, I don't think so. No? Okay. Oh, the other one. Yes. It's pixely. But it's not, it's readable. It's just slightly pixely. Weird. Okay, whatever. Um, all right. We are going to Shadow Wilt. I'm going to draw these cards now before I forget. <laughs> ah. Okay, do these guys. Okay. Okay, I'm going to do this one. I'm doing this one. Yeah, you can't even read that. Okay. Um, I guess I'll read the thing. Okie dokie. The introduction to this outer world. Uh, Red Thorn leads you deep into the dagger forest. The brush grows thick and twisting passages through the wild foliage leave you entirely confused. All the brambles and thickets and thorns start to look depressingly the same. Often the way seems completely blocked, but somehow the orchid, orchid finds a way through. Orchid is a race that Redthorn is. Um, eventually, a fine gray mist begins to permeate your surroundings and you come across a dismal dead clearing. This was once the heart of the forest, Redthorn whispers. Oh, sorry, I wasn't whispering. <laughs> Unreachable by any normal means, safe and perfect. And then it came. Now this place houses nothing but horrors and nightmares. The Orchid looks down at the black earth. Truly, this place terrifies me. Whatever creatures haunt these shadows, I cannot help you fight them. But if you survive, I will show you the way back. As Redthorn disappears into the mist, you begin to see other forms moving at the edge of your vision. And then you hear the hoofbeats, like a terrible thunder rolling through the trees. The sound gets closer and closer until the ground beneath your feet tremors at the approach. OK. Um, All right, I'll the special rules. All characters start with muddle. The Dark Rider is not set up on the map. And it is removed from the map immediately after it performs any melee attack. If it's not present, present on the map at the service turn, it appears at one of the marked hexes and then carries out its actions. It goes A, B, C, D, E, F, and then back to A. In between moving and attacking, the Dark Rider summons one normal forest imp for two characters. So there's going to be like way more forest imps. Not sure if I have enough. That's only if the boss special two is drawn. Yeah, but. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what? I'm not sure I have enough pieces. What level is the scenario? Four. So maybe we'll reset everything. That work? This is not uh, resetting here. Uh oh. Hey, 
Hit hit forty eight again. Tell it which scenario again. Bummer. I have to do that. Uh, nine four ten. We start in the middle somewhere. So he's going to appear at A and charge us, I assume. I guess. And we're going to want to, like, basically um, make it so that he can't reach us, so that he stays on the board, so that we can attack him, right, before he disappears. Yeah. Oh no, and he's immune to poison, immobilize, disarm, and stun. We start with Muddle. Mm -hmm. And he has 30 health. Well, it's our, we have to kill him, not the other guys. Yeah. Um, and there's a chest. <laughs> so I think what we should do is make our way to this corner and try to defend ourselves from this corner, maybe, where the chest is. Yeah, I think that's probably not a bad plan. Um, I'm trying to find out whether these bushes and things are they are obstacles, so we can shoot over them, but we can't walk through them. Okay. The bushes and trees. So yeah, I think we want to get in a corner and just, like, I just start sending out summons and, and, um, I mean, if, he is going to appear in those corners. There's one in each corner. Yeah, so maybe we actually want to stay in the middle and then like move away from where he's going to appear next each round, you know? Yeah, maybe. I'm not sure. His attack is four plus X, whatever X is. Is X number of characters, number of us? Maybe. So then six so he hits for six that's mean yeah and suddenly my idea to switch a healing potion for a stamina potion seems less like a good idea <laughs> i'm gonna have to be a summoning fiend to protect myself yeah okay so then where do we want to start i was sort of I don't know. Um, well, I think we should go for the chest because even if we don't succeed, we'll at least have gotten the chest. That's true. So I, I don't know what the closest is. I guess it's the same. It's this and this are the same distance from the chest. OK. There's two guys over there, though. I know. Earth I guess, demon. I'll start here. Okay. And you can start wherever you want to start. Um. I'm gonna start, I guess, on that other space. But I am quite nervous about this because the Earth Demons have 15 health. Maybe I should start here and then try to get right here so I can occupy those two guys. He'll still appear, though. I know, but... He'll appear like the next available space. 
but I'll be able to like take the brunt of the, oh, I'll be able to get both of them to hit me, you know? Uh, I guess that's true, yeah. Okay, I'll just start on the other side as, as, like that? Hmm. yeah, like that. Okay. Okay, that's clear now. Okay, the imps have two shield, but only three hit points. The demon has nothing special, but has 15 hit points. The harrower infestors have two retaliate. Oh, one of them's elite with three retaliate. Yeah. Those guys seem like they might be a, a problem. Mm hmm All right, I have um, 29. I have 95. 95, geez. Okay. Well, that's how you played the summoner. You don't get to go first. <laughs> first, the power infestors attack nobody because they, they are not moving. Okay. Then I get to go. Okay. So I'm going to move four. One, two, three, four onto the B. Okay. Wait, do, does the Dark Rider guy spawn at the start? Oh, yeah. I don't know how that works. Um, if he's not present at the start of its turn, it appears at, at one of the marked hexes. And then carries out the actions. So he he should be spawned. Should be spawned, yeah. Okay. So he's gonna spawn at A and move three. One, two, three. That's not so bad. He won't get within range. Okay. And then he disappears after he He does a melee. After he does a melee attacks. Okay, so as long as I am not right there. Yeah, so anyway. Here we are. Four, and then I'm gonna um, set myself to retaliate two for the rest of the rest of the game. Okay. Uh, and that's my turn. So he spawns. Oh, X's number of hexes moved. Oh. So it's so he would. He would hit for seven if if he actually. Yeah. So he moves three, one, two, three, like that. I guess. Sure. Yeah. Now the forest imps move four, attack two, range four. I think the guy on me moves backward one, so that he can shoot me without um, penalty. Yeah. Okay, so he moves back, shoots me. Um, draws a plus one, so it hits me for three. Doug, I'm gonna use my chain mail immediately. <laughs> okay. So it hits me for two. But then gets retaliated for two, right? No, because it's a, the, my retaliate only affects melee. Oh uh, yeah. Um. So this imp has a range of four. One, two, three, four. You're within range. Mm -hmm. I think he shoot. He just stays there and shoots you. Yeah, I think so. 
Okay, he draws a plus one, so three points. Okay. And then the other guy moves the shoe shoe as well. Yeah, moves forward one. Yeah, onto onto the C. And draws a minus one, so one point. Okay. The two earth golems heal themselves and do nothing else. And then it's your turn. Okay. So first I'm summoning a void, my void eater guy, uh, like right next to me. Okay, and then um, I am, he and I are both moving three, so, um, what the heck, all these pieces in the middle to make it look like one room are very hard to manage. <laughs> so he's going to go I one, two. Why the digital version would be a benefit. <laughs> um actually which way am I gonna take him? All right, one, two, three, on to where on to D, I guess. Because he's arranged he's ranged, so I don't want him to be too close. And then one, two, three. For me, I don't want to be next to that demon I don't think okay or do I I don't think I do no I don't want to be next to the demon okay and that's my turn so me and the void eater are on our way okay next round Oh, and we're both not muddled anymore. Yes, good call. Okay, I have 18. I have 13. All right. Oh, geez. The imps have uh, five. They're all not doing anything except shielding themselves and healing themselves, but none of them are hurt. So they're all, they all have shield seven. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> then the infestors move three, attack two, poison. Yeah. Uh, I'll move the elite first. <laughs> One, two, three. Then the other guy, I believe, goes for your thorn shooter. One, two. Buckle my shoe. <laughs> thorn shooter for times two. Oh, no. Four points plus poison. Four and poison? Yeah. Ugh. He's not dead, but... I'm gonna have to do some stuff. <laughs> really hurt. Um, the nighttime uh, mana also it's, it's generated. Um, and now it's your turn. Okay, so first my void 
void eater. It's not a thorn shooter. It's a void eater. Um, uh, is going to shoot. Well, he was going to shoot that imp, but he's not going to shoot the imp anymore because the imp is now super shielded. So I guess he shoots this earth demon for um, two and a curse. Two and a curse. So which one's that? Two and curse. And then, um, well, now this turn is going to be like a big waste. Maybe not a big waste, but then I'm going to heal him for two. Except I'm not. I'm just taking off the poison because they won't let me heal for two and leave the poison. And then um, I'm going to move. So I've got to move him plus one, um, attack plus one. So he's going to move over here so that it's, he's not next to that harrower anymore. And he's going to um, attack that same guy again for three and curse for four and curse. So that guy is now down another four points and he's double cursed. And then I was going to move next. Mm, I think I'm still going to do it. I'm going to go one, two, and instead of going onto the chest like I was going to do, I'm going to go in between you and the imp. Oh, man. That's where I was going to go. Oh, I don't need to go there. I just don't want to be next to anything. No, that's fine. It's fine, actually, because I can't hit the imp anyway, so it's fine. Yeah, I think we both have the same idea of, like, whacking that imp and jumping on the chest. <laughs> yeah. And then it didn't work. Okay, so there's my turn. Okay. My turn, I am... Gonna um, attack and stun the demon. Okay. So I attack him That's for two plus zero. Oh, I get minus one to all my attacks for the rest of the mission because of my retaliation. So I actually hit him for uh, just one point. But, but stunned. Yeah. Stunned is good. Yeah, stunned. Um. And then for my other thing, this guy, uh, special one, what is that? Special one is um, oh. move five and attack plus zero. So, oh no, he can get to you. Mm hmm. Because that's going to be nine points of damage. Only if he moves five. I should rush him oh. if he moves fewer spaces towards me, huh? Yeah, maybe. Okay, I'm moving three. One, two, three. And maybe I don't want to be next to this guy. Ugh, whatever. <laughs> I'm moving three spaces and I'm shielding up. So I have basically two shields because the chain mail. Cool. Um, okay. The earth demons, this guy is stunned, so he becomes not stunned. The other guy moves three. One, two, three. Okay. And then the dark rider moves one space towards me and whacks me. Um, for so he moved one space uh plus four that would be five but minus one because of the card he just drew so that's four mm -hmm. and then minus two because of my shield and chain mail so that's two points of damage to me and he gets two points re of retaliation on him and then disappears Bling. Yeah. oh he's gonna appear next to me yeah. <laughs> uh, geez. Well, we hit him for two. Um, next round. <laughs> well, we hit him for two. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we only have to do that fifteen more times. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> or fourteen more times, I guess. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, I'm gonna do this. Somehow this is not gonna go well. Does he appear at the start of his turn or at the start of the turn? Start of his turn. Darn it, so we can't like go before him and just whack him right now. He's just gonna magically appear, hit one of us and then disappear. Mm-hmm. Well, that's sucky. <laughs> Indeed. I should position myself so he hits me, though, I think. Well, I have a backup plan, but it's only going to work if I go before him, and I'm not sure I will. So. Mm. But at least the imp doesn't have a shield, only has a shield of two anymore, so then. How much damage, um, how much health could your void healer or void shooter or whatever walker use like if i heal him for three, yeah if i heal him for three would that be useful yes very much so because he's down to one mm, okay at least he got two curses in I need to get way more curses in, though, in order for us to uh, do all right. Ugh. Okay, I have, oh, geez, that sucks. I can't do that. I have 23. I have 55, sadly for me. Okay, he has 85. He's gonna appear at the very end. Okay. Phew. I can work with that. So as long as the infestors are gonna move three and attack. One, two, three. We're in they're in range of all of us. Um the imps are gonna move five and heal things. The earth demons are gonna attack with a range four. Ooh, I think. We're going to be taking a lot of hits, sister. <laughs> um, Dang. Okay. I am um, going to move right there. Okay. And then heal the Void Walker for three. Okay. Thank you. And cause a sun icon to appear. Um, and that is it. You know what? I'm going to use my stamina potion already to get three cards. Okay. I'm worried about these Harrower and Fester guys. Okay, the Harrower and Fester's. Um, this guy's going to move three, or just move two to go next to me and hit me for th three times two. Uh. uh hit me for six ooh there is a dark uh mana so it hits me for eight i believe oh no and disarm <laughs> no then i use my chain mail so he hits me for seven <laughs> uh and disarm maybe normal we're not ready <laughs> <laughs> Disarmed. 
who hits or disarm? God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> and this guy. Um, well, he uses up that moon symbol at least. This guy moves one space and whacks a void walker, right? Yeah. And draws a minus one, score one point on the void walker. Okay. That's man, what that's a difference. <laughs> Eight points on me, one point on the void walker. <laughs> and the forest imps. Um, this imp here heals this earth demon for two points of damage. So that guy's yeah. back up to ten. This imp here moves one space forward and heals the same earth demon for two more points. This imp moves five spaces. One, two, three, four, five. Like that. Okay. And got within range. So heals the same earth demon for two more points. So now he's back to almost full health. Yeah, he's at 14 now. Ooh, it's, it's, it's your turn. Okay, so first, yeah, so first my Void Eater is going to shoot the imp that's on the chest for two and a curse, for three and a curse, he is dead, dead. Wait, and he has shield too. Oh, never mind, he's not dead. So he got hit for one, but, but he's cursed. cursed. Okay. And then um, I'm summoning my slime spirit onto B. So let me, oops. One, two. And, and he has shield, so that's going to be nice. And then two summoned allies within range to perform an attack again. So that's not right. Oh, hey, I forgot to retaliate against that power who hit me. So he's down two points. To 17. <laughs> OK, so two summoned allies within range two perform attack plus zero again. So my void eater guy attacks that same imp, I guess, for two and a curse. Ooh, for a wound. Hold on. A wound and the green symbol and heal oneself. So he's healed himself and plus two. So, so for a wound, I think he's dead now. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. But the, the um, leaf symbol's up. Yeah, and I added another curse card to their deck. Oh, yeah, curse card. Okay. Um, and then the, the um, slime spirit guy hits the uh, earth demon, I guess, for one and muddle, for two and muddle. So that guy is now muddled. Okay. And two points of damage to him. What is this deck? Oh, that's the, that's the blesses and things. And that is my turn, <laughs> such as it is. Hmm, you can't just walk onto the thing now? I can't. I had to use up all of my stuff. Sad for me. This earth demon uh, is going to attack two of us because it's got the um, green leaf symbol thing. Oh, darn. I was excited about the green leaf symbol. <laughs> <laughs> so he attacks. I think me, because I went first, and then one of your summons. Which summon should he go for? The slime, because the slime is uh, shielded up. But okay. he's muddled. Don't forget he's muddled. So he's at okay. disadvantage. Is he at double disadvantage? Because this is a ranged attack. 
I draw three. Yeah, but I don't know if double disadvantage is a thing. Okay, to draw two cards. So he attacks yeah. me, gets a whiff. It was a whiff or a negative one, so it's a whiff. So he doesn't. He misses me, and then he attacks the slime for plus one or plus zero. So plus zero, four points oh. on the slime. Okay, but he's got a two shields, so only two points on the slime. Yeah, and he's no longer muddled. Dang it. The other guy uh, attacks range four. We're not in range, so he doesn't do anything. Um, the Dark Rider. Um, where's my cursor? Moves five. But he, he, he appears right there and hits me, basically. Yep, for four. Yeah, for four. He draws a whiff. <laughs> <laughs> and he misses, so he doesn't disappear, right? Um, it just says he after he performs a melee attack, so he performed, he just missed, so he goes away again. Because he like woof. Okay, next round. Together. Okay. We're gonna get that chest at least. We are getting the chest. Does anyone need healing? Um, my my slime guy could use healing, but it's he's down to two. This is terrible. This is terrible. I agree. <laughs> the worst. <laughs> this is not as bad as slave pens, but it's close. <laughs> okay, I have um, 32. I have 82. And that's the best I could do. It's terrible. Okay, first the harrower. Harrowers. Are they gonna oh, and they're killing themselves. These guys are terrible. Okay, so this guy doesn't need a move, hits me for three, minus one, hits me for two. I'll use up the last of my chain mail. Hits me for one. Uh gets hit for because it retaliate. Are you still disarmed? Yes. Okay. And he got retaliated? Yeah, but then he heals himself for five. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. So he's not full. Sad. The other guy hits your void eater mm -hmm. for two and with so for nothing. Oh, this one was an elite, so he actually hit me for one more. So I'm at seven. Okay, the Dark Rider appears at C and then summons an imp, right? Yeah. And then moves. Oh, first he moves three, then he summons an imp, and then he attacks. So you're gonna move three, one, two, three, and summon an imp, like right there, I guess. Sure. That imp is back. Dang, yo. And then attacks the air, and now it's my turn. Uh, I am going to make the slime make an attack four. 
Okay. On the Earth Demon guy? I guess so, yeah. Okay. Uh, so four heals oneself, so that's nice. Um, plus one, five. So five on the Earth Demon. Oh, and a curse. Nope, you did the slime instead, a muddle instead. Yeah. Oh, model. Um, because it has to be an adjacent person next to me. And then for my disarm, does that mean I can't do any melee? Or does it just mean I can't do an attack? You can't attack. You can't attack. Can I still stun? Sure. I don't see why not. Although, isn't that part of the attack? Yeah. I think I don't do anything. So I forgot that I was, I had, that's too good. Sad. So that's my turn. The imps are gonna move and attack. So um, let's do the one who was just summoned first. He doesn't need to move. He's just gonna hit me for Two. Two plus zero. So um, two points. I'm at five. Uh, this guy is going to, what's his range? Four? Shoot me also? Not, not my. OK. I'm at three. This guy is going to shoot me also and whiffs. Whew. Then the earth demon next to me is going to hit me. Uh, for four minus one, for three. So I have to lose a card. Oh, you know what? I forgot I was going to use my healing potion last turn. So let me do that. OK. So he hits me for three, but I heal five, so I'm up to five total. Okay. And I get, uh, he gets retaliated for two points. Oh wait, he's muddled. Let me draw again for him. Minus two, so I'm at six points. Okay. And he's no longer muddled. And he's at five hit points. And then yeah, the other demon uh, is gonna move two spaces. One, two. And now it's your turn. Okay. I am going to uh, move onto the loot and the treasure. So yay, I got loot. What's my treasure? 64. If this is poison trap, I am going to kick something. <laughs> Even gold! I got gold! Yay! <laughs> wow. You okay? That's cool. Um, and then I'm going to summon my skeleton onto this space next to me. Um, what does he got? Oh, he's terrible. I keep forgetting how bad he is. Compared to my other guys. Oh, I forgot to let my guys go. Okay, so hold on. Oh yeah. Um and I totally did that like backwards. Okay. Let's pretend like because I totally did that backwards. I meant to hit this guy first. All right, so I hit the the um, Earth Demon for uh, two, just two. One, two, no. Nope, other way. Oh, the Earth That's Demon created a green symbol, by the way. OK. Um, then I moved over and I got the, the chest. Um, and then the, so my Void Eater moves over one, and he shoots the earth demon for two and a curse. 
for three and a curse. So now the earth demon is cursed dead. and dead. And then my slime guy does not have range. So I guess he moves up one next to this harrower and he hits him for one and muddle. Just one and muddle. So the elite harrower is now muddled. Your but he retaliates. gets three retaliate. Which shield doesn't protect from. So my slime is now dead. Sad. Sorry, slime guy. And then I'm using my major stamina potion to get three cards back. And that is my turn. Mm. You should have had Slime Guy attack the Earth Demon and Void Guy attack the Harrowers because then he wouldn't get retaliate. Um, oh, that's true. Too late. Too late. Oopsies. Um, okay. Okay, next round. Yeah. Retaliates a pain. Mm hmm. I might do a long rest soon just to get back some of these other cards. Okay. Um, I have eighteen. I have fifty five. Okay, the horror infestors. Um, they don't get to move, so the guy attacks me at disadvantage. Um, okay. Was a whiff and a plus zero, so he misses me, and then he heals himself for one point, and he's no longer muddled. No longer muddled. The other guy shoots me for two and draws his plus zero. Oops, why did I draw twice? Pretend I didn't draw twice. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so it hits me for two. I'm then we need to add another, another curse card back in because one of those was a curse. We'll just have that be the next draw, I guess. OK. Um. He heals himself for, uh, so he muddles me. Okay, and then in my turn, uh, I was gonna basically heal myself for three. Okay. I'm at seven. And then move um, onto this loot. Shield up, so I have one shield. Okay. And I'm actually gonna wait a second. This guy's gonna move. Where is he gonna move? He's moving five, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm not moving on to the loot. Um, Instead, I'm moving my wing shoes and moving okay. one, two, three, right into his face. Okay. And shielding up, and then I'm using my earring to make my boots and chainmail get reset. <sighs> and then uh, I believe I am done. Okay. The 
Force imps. Holy shit, are strengthening everyone. <laughs> awesome. And muddling. Yeah. Um what does strengthen do again? They get to they get d advantage. They get to draw two cards and pick the best one. Okay. As far as I can tell, everyone was in, is within range. Um Yeah, it looks like So I think all of them get strengthened. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Including the other imps, right? They're all strengthening every each yeah. other too. They all strengthen each other and everyone. Okay, and then they definitely make me muddled. Oh, I already had muddle. And then I think this guy is in range of just your void walker. So your void walker has muddle. Okay, that's fine. And then and then that's it for the imps. And now it's your turn. Okay. Yowza. Yay. <laughs> All right. Um, so my void eater guy, I guess, shoots this harrower, the um, non elite harrower, for mm -hmm. two and a curse, but he's muddled. So when you're muddled, you ignore the, the rolling ones, right? I guess so. I feel like, yeah. Oh my gosh, all of these rolling modifiers. Okay, so plus one or times two, so plus one. So he hits for three and a curse on that guy. Okay. And um, and then my skeleton guy is stupid, so he goes one, two right into the face of that retaliate guy. Um, the elite one or the regular? The... It's a good question. Let's say the regular guy just because it, yeah. it's the same distance either way. And he attacks for I'm two. The skeleton next to your void walker, by the way. Okay. That works. So he attacks for two and he whiffs. So he's terrible. Um, and then what I'm going to do is uh, summon my thorn shooter right next to me. So, two, red, one, and he's got two, and two, and two, and four. And, uh, and then I have two summoned allies within range to perform attack plus zero. Where'd you go? So, um, so my Void Walker guy is going to attack that same harrower for, I guess he's not muddled anymore, is he? Our Void Eater? Hmm? My Void Eater's probably not muddled anymore because he had his turn, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. He's gonna hit that same that same guy for two and a curse, for three and a curse. So that harrower guy got hit for three and another curse. And Maybe then my, huh? You got six now. Yes. And then my thorn shooter guy. Actually, why don't I just attack that same dude? Okay. Okay. So hits for or uh. Uh, shoots for two and poison for three and poison. So that guy is now down to three and he's also poisoned. And Can we pretend your shooter shot first. Because he's Han, Han Solo. Yeah, and then he would be poisoned and take an extra point of damage. Oh, <laughs> um, I guess we could. Okay. <laughs> 
did we remember to do the um the that so, somebody whiffed remember the next one was yeah. supposed to have we did okay it hasn't happened yet the next one will be the dark rider hitting me and whiffing okay all right um and i think that is my turn yes that is my turn okay the dark um, rider hits me and whiffs oh wait maybe doesn't whiff because he strengthens he gets to draw two cards so one of them's a whiff the other one's a whiff <laughs> cards man I'll get strengthened um earth demons are gonna move one attack three so well, they, this guy moves one towards me and i'm not within range so he doesn't do anything yep now it's next round okay i'm taking a long rest because i need cards the the writer is going to appear right here at D. Okay, that's fine because my summons will still go. I just won't go. And I'm hidden away in the corner anyway. Hmm. Uh, this is terrible. Okay, I got 56 and you got 99. Yeah. The writer appears at D, moves three spaces, doesn't need to move, summons an imp. I guess next to the other imp. Yeah. Are they all? Unstrengthened? No, the strengthen goes away when they do their first attack, I think, right? Okay. So the the Earth Demon is unstrengthened, but everybody else is still and the Dark Rider's unstrengthened, but everybody else is still strengthened. Is that correct? Yeah, right. Um Okay, so and then he's gonna attack who should he attack? The um skeleton or the yeah. void walker? Void eater. Skeleton. Okay, so he, he attacks the skeleton and draws a plus zero. How much attack did he do? Uh, four minus one. Three. So three. Skeleton is dead. That's fine. He's kind of crap anyway. And then he disappears. Um, the horrors are not within range of anyone, so both of them do nothing. Sweet. The earth demon moves to me, I think right there, one, two. Mm -hmm. Attacks me for three, draws a plus zero, I'll use my chain mail. <laughs> um, it hits me for two, and then I retaliate against him for two points. Yep, that's it. And then my turn. I am going to whack on him for five plus one. So six points on the Earth Demon. But the, the pixies are about to do bad stuff, yeah. The imps. Yeah, and then I'm shielding up for the rest of the game. And 
And then the pixies, the imps move three attack three range four. So <clears throat> this guy moves back one, this guy moves back one. So both those guys, this guy range four, one, two, three, all four of them shoot me. <laughs> one of them doesn't have an advantage. So the first one draws one card, gets a minus one, hits me for two, except I have a shield and chain mail, so it hits me for zero. Okay. Uh, the second one draws a plus one and a plus one, so it hits me for four. Um, I'm not going to use my chain mail, but I'm going to use my uh, shield, so it hits me for three, so I'm at two. And that guy's no longer strengthened. The second, the third one hits me for minus one or with, so he hits me for minus one. So he hits me for two points um, minus one. So I'm at one and he's no longer strengthened. Oops. The last one um, draws a plus zero and a plus zero is no longer strengthened. I will use my chain mail. So it hits me for three minus two for, hits me for one. No, I won't use my chain mail. It hits me for two, but I'm gonna prevent that from happening. So I'm gonna ditch a card. Um, I will ditch this card. So I'm at one hit point uh, and it's your, it's your turn, your guys' turn. Okay. Good grief. Okay, so my void guy shoots that same harrower, I guess, for two and a curse. Uh, oh, okay, so the, the dark symbol is on and he hit him times two, so for four and a curse, but that killed him anyway, so four and a curse, this guy's dead. Um, and then my thorn shooter guy shoots the other harrower for two and poison plus zero, so two and poisoned. I have to do this again. That's my turn. Okay. Next round. You should probably heal yourself if you can. Yep. Good idea. <laughs> the correct answer was thanks, Captain Obvious. <laughs> I am going to die. On purpose? No. Mm -hmm. Blurred. All right, I have 29. I have 45. Okay. And he, he appears appearing like way over here, right? On E? On E, yeah. He appears there, summons an imp. 45 right there. And then moves uh -oh. three. Oh, sorry. He 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 appears, moves, and then summons. So the imp isn't there. He moves three first. One, two, three towards me. Summons the imp, basically right next to me. Then. Yeah. Oh. There's then the uh, um, attacks no one, and now it's my turn. 
heal myself for three points and cause a sun symbol. And then I move the hell out of Dodge. <laughs> <laughs> um, what, are, oh, what are these guys going to do? They're going to attack and poison. Yeah. It range four, too. That's awful. What's the hero going to do? Yeah. Move two. Attack five. Uh, I think I'm going down again. <laughs> um, so I, I guess I just need to try to get out of range of everyone. Yeah. But then move four. One, two, three, four. With the range of four. One, two, three, four. Basically the whole map. I have to go like way over here. Yeah. I can move three and a jump, one, two, three, that's not enough to save my ass. I mean, well, they don't I, want, they don't I want to move. So. Retaliation. I'm going to try to do as much damage as possible and make this guy at least suffer retaliation damage. Okay. I'm going to, I'm jumping here. Okay. No wait, I'm gonna, gonna go I'm gonna jump place. here. And that is my turn. Um so this guy hits me for five, draws a negative one, so hits me for four. Um but I have a shield up. And I'll use my chain mail, so it hits me for two. And then gets retaliated twice. He gets retaliated twice? Well, I mean, I retaliate him for two points. Okay. Oh, he's... Never mind. Nothing. Mm -mm. The imps... Um, so this guy will fly one space away from me. Hold on, I'm getting a phone call. I need to take it because they've called back twice now. Okay. Hello? Yes, it is. Okay. Minus one. Zero points. Plus one, two points. Minus one, one point. I am now poisoned. Uh, whiffs, two more guys. Plus zero, so that's nothing because of the shield. And plus zero. Hmm. It is something because of the poisons. Ooh, and they can target two. All right, I'm back. Okay, um, I have to discard a card. No, so are you dead yet? No, not yet. I'm not dead yet, but also they have attack at two, target two. So uh -huh. we have to calculate damage against um, your guys's, you guys's. <laughs> 
I did it. So, I mean, maybe we should just redo it all because um, um, I only figured it out for myself. And then I saw that they all have target two. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't remember exactly what was drawn. Um. So it was a bunch of plus zeros and plus one. Oh, like, like, like there was like one plus one, one minus one, and the rest were zeros. Oh, and one width. And one width. Where well, where are they all? Let me move them all to the right spots. They're all like basically clustered right here, so that they're within range of two of us, me and somebody else. <laughs> um. Do we know which one they would have targeted? We want them to target the slime, right? Oh, wait, that's not a slime. That's a that's a uh, shooter. Yeah. So whichever one, I think they're in. The, all of them are in range of all of us now, basically. So which of your two do you want them to target? Um. Well, I mean, the Void Eater has five hit points and the Thorn Shooter only has two, so. And what's the attack of one? Um, yeah, so, well, two of them did nothing basically. Um, because okay. one was a whiff and one was a minus one. And then the other three, um, one was a plus one, the other one a plus zeros. Okay. So, so my void one, two, four points total to a void walker, I guess. Yeah, I think, yeah. Is he poisoned and he's poisoned? Yeah. So it's actually six okay. points total. Six points total because of the poison. Oh, shoot. Well, then he'd be dead. Um, can they target the thorn shooter for? We can divide it up. Yeah. So it could be um, two and three are the, is the division. OK. OK, then the thorn shooter's dead, but that's the one I'd rather have dead anyway, so. OK. Because I still haven't pulled my lost, I haven't done my lost card one yet. So I'm still able to get that guy back. Yeah. Um, I'm going to basically be dead next round, I think, because I'm going to, I'm losing too many cards. Yeah. Um, well, I'm not, I'm not sure. Like, I'm just holding on. I'm yeah. not doing any damage to the guy. So we're about to lose. <laughs> it's your turn now, though. Okay. So. Um, now this doesn't work the way I wanted it to because my guy died. Um, all right, so I'm going to heal my Void Eater guy so he's no longer poisoned. And I'm going to, um, oh, I guess he shoots whatever, this one that's on the, um, the loot for two and a curse. Plus one for three and a curse, so for one because they're shielded, but cursed. Not that it will do any good because we're about to die. And we then- um, Was it the imp? Yeah, the, the imp that's on the loot. Okay. And then, um, I guess I'm just going to, Move two, one, two, and smack um, this other imp. Are you grabbing? Sure, I'm totally grabbing the loot and smacking this imp that's up front for two plus one for three, but he's shielded, so one whole point of damage to that guy. And that was a terrible turn, but that's my turn. Okay. The Earth Demon moves forward one towards me and doesn't do anything. And now it's the next round. Terrible. Yeah.
Wow, this is just terrible. I agree. Terrible. Terrible. Thought we could play normal. Silly ass. I've got 23. I have 32. Okay. First, the imps are all gonna shield up to seven and heal themselves one. So basically the two that are damaged are gonna heal themselves. Yay. And they all have shield seven. <laughs> so not worth hitting. The harrower infester is gonna attack I guess attack you so that he's not at disadvantage, right? Yeah. Um, okay, attacks you. It muddles me. For, but I drew twice. I accidentally drew twice again. <laughs> so it was a plus one though. So attacks you for four and muddle. And he heals okay. me, um, four points. He heals up poison no he just heals off the poison oh yeah you're right he's no longer poison okay and now it's my turn and i'm gonna um basically attack this guy for four okay for eight points the harrower guy? Yeah. Oh, sorry, for seven points. For seven points, because I have minus one because of my thing. One, two. But then he retaliates you. Seven. You're right, he does. Uh, I'm dead. <laughs> um, well, before I do that, I'm going to attack uh, the writer. Okay. So I do it in, in the op opposite order. So let's heal that guy back up. <laughs> um, I'm attacking the writer instead uh, for five um, times two this time, but minus one. So nine points on the writer. OK. And then um, that gives me two XP. And then attack the uh, harrower dude with a plus one. Um, so five points on the harrower, but then he kills me because he retaliates. But I do cause this, the sun thing to reinvigorate itself. Um, okay. Technically, I have one card. I could dish a card and not die. Uh, I might as well do that. Okay. I'm, so I'm not dead, but I have one hit point still. And I am doing a short rest. And now it's your turn. Okay. So I'm going to take a step back. And, oh, wait. No. First, my dude is going to shoot and curse that same imp. So shoot for two and curse, two and curse. It's so shielded, but it's cursed at least. More curse. And then I'm going to take a step back and I'm going to summon my shadow wolves. So here's a weird thought. I've been summoning the shadow wolves as two separate guys. I wonder if it's only meant to be like one summon. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So on summon two shadow wolves, there's not like a second spot for a second thing. So I've been summoning them as two separate entities. But I wonder if they're meant to be like a pack that just like hangs together. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. I think they're supposed to be two separate things. <laughs> I would like to believe that, but I don't know. I feel like uh, 
It's possible I've been playing wrong this whole time. I'm going down a blaze of glory here. <laughs> I got a short rest. Actually, I totally used my stamina potion. You just okay. didn't see me do it. You're done, right? The earth yeah. demon moves forward one, hits me for whiffs. That's the whiff card. So hits, misses me. The okay. dark rider moves two, hits me for whiff and disappears. Wow, I'm not dead. <laughs> it's the next round. Wow. This is my last turn. I only have two cards left. OK. I'll go down in a blaze of glory in like one more turn after that. Actually, I still have quite a lot of health. The problem is, is that there's just no way I'm going to be able to take everybody out with me. So we're just going to. Do you want me to play through all of the death? <laughs> I mean, unless you think you can kill one and grab a loot. That's the only thing that you can do, I think. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to kill the, the guy. I mean, I can try to play it through, but yeah, it's going to be super boring. Let's just call it. <laughs> Let's just call it. <laughs> uh, death. All right. Tune in next week as we try again at lower difficulty. <laughs> Totally. It'll work the next time. Wow, that was really hard, I feel like. Yeah. Those imps <laughs> got under got like out of control. They did get out of control. And I feel like maybe we shouldn't have tried it for a boss fight, you know, like you don't start out the next higher level for something <laughs> that's super hard anyway. I don't know. That was well, terrible. Yeah, it was terrible. We, we like a challenge. We do like a challenge, but at least I got some gold out of it. Yeah. How much gold did you get out of it? 30. I got 30 gold and then I looted two, so. That was totally what, worth it. Yeah, what are the tokens worth? Uh, oh, four, because we were at level four. So I got 38 gold on this one. I got nothing. I get five experience. That's all I got out of this whole thing. <laughs> How much experience did I get? I got a bunch of experience because I always get a bunch of experience. 12. I got 12 experience. Because every time I summon one of my dudes, I get more experience. And then every time I tell them to do something, I get experience. And this, this perk thing doesn't apply unless you actually win, correct? Correct. Or this one was so easy. <laughs> Have one or more monsters present at the map on the map at the start of every turn. <laughs> <laughs> That's so easy for this one. I know Yay. exactly. Oh, well. <laughs> so I guess this uh, treasure token doesn't get put next time. Right. I had kill an undamaged monster with a single attack during the scenario, and I couldn't do any, like, ugh, that was terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Wow. Yeah, that was like one of the hardest ones. <laughs> well, I guess if we're getting close to the end, it's going to be hard ones. I'm still not convinced that we are getting close to the end. I, no I think, I'm, yeah, there's just so much more. Like, we're only at prosperity level four. Are we supposed to be running, like, simultaneous groups? Should we have, like, an evil group? I don't know. No, I feel like, you know, because we're only doing two-player, only two characters, that's why we haven't unlocked more characters and stuff. I guess, but... It just seems like our prosperity level's low. Like, we're not even to the high power. Prosperity chart go? It goes up to nine, and we're at four. Oh, geez. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 
I have no idea. Um, <laughs> I guess I need to shop more. I need to like visit the shop, visit the church or the tree of life or whatever it's called. Get some blessings. Yeah. Something. Yeah, we should probably visit the church before we do that one again. How many of these bag items are we allowed to have? Um, shoot. It's like one per... Per level or something like that? Something weird like that. Yeah, hold on. Let me look. It's under gear. Uh, up to a number of bag items equal to half their level rounded up. So I get to have four because I'm level seven, and you get to have three. I mean, maybe I should get another shield or a weapon of some sort, you know. Yeah, I would really like to have a weapon. All I've, I've got a cloak, I've got a ring, and two bag items. Hold on. What is my, what does my ring count for? Oh, as a bag item. Okay, so yeah, I don't have like, I've got armor and then a bunch of bag items and that's it. <laughs> I don't have boots. I don't have weapons. I don't have a hat, gloves. Oh wait, gloves are not a thing. But I also, oh, I do have money now. You looked at the studded leather. When attacked, the attacker gains disadvantage and you gain shield. Yeah, but the chainmail I can use three times, you know? Mm, true. What I want is the next prosperity level because then I can upgrade the chainmail to like scale mail or something like that. And it'll give me shield too. There's also the bomb. Yeah, I was thinking of the bomb. Or maybe some way of like, causing wounds. Do we have anything that causes wounds? I have it in my deck, in my attack modifier deck, but... I mean, I mean, um, are there any items that we can buy that cause wounds? Oh, the Jagged Sword. Jagged Sword. That seems like it would be good. Yeah. I'm trying to see if there's... I'm going to buy that. It costs 25. I'm debating on the bomb. That I don't tend to attack. That's the ish. Because I'm not, like, most of my attacks come from my summons. So that might not be as useful as I would think. I'm going to also buy this tower shield. <laughs> uh. 
months and I'm 35. So I'm now very, very poor. <laughs> so if it says, so there's this empowering talisman and it says during your turn, refresh one of your consumed bag items. Does that mean that one of the ones that I flipped over that it's with the X? No, it's one of the ones that's um, tapped. Okay, so tapped but not lost. Right. Even though it says consumed. Dang. Well, the refresh icon has like untap, the untap icon, right? Right, but it says consumed. So that's what's confusing me is the consumed bag item instead of, because oh, most of the bag it says, it says refresh a consumed? Yeah. Which one is that one? The empowering talisman, it's number 17. That would be helpful because then I could get one of my stamina potions back. Hmm. Because the bag items are all ones that go away. Yeah, they're all ones that go away. I think yeah. that makes sense. That would give me more longevity. But is what I need longevity or what I need like more power? <laughs> well, for this fight, I think we need more power. Yeah. Maybe I'll just get the bomb and call it a day. Well, the bomb, so you're hoping the AOE is going to help? With all those imps. Yeah, I guess so. But they all have shield too. It's the problem. Well, but if we drop down to easy, let's see what happens if we drop down to easy. They have shield of one if we drop down the easy. That would make it way easier. <laughs> um, yeah, that would be easier. That would be easier. Then the earth demon would have two fewer hit points. The infestors would have fewer hit points. Same retaliate though. And yeah. then the boss would have also fewer hit points. Same special moves though. Yeah. So fewer hit points overall. Yeah. That would be weird. So then if I get this bomb, then I can uh i have a couple of ranged attacks that like do they pierce oh actually that's perfect because i have a ranged attack that i wasn't using it has pierce and that would let me deal with multiple imps at the same time so yes i'm gonna buy the bomb oh right so then you can turn that pierce attack into a bomb pierce attack mm -hmm. yes yes that sounds pretty awesome, actually. All right, that's what I'm doing. I now have a bomb. Now I have a shrapnel bomb. Cool. That should make it easier. All right. Well, let's read this thing. OK. So that we can <laughs> we do something, at least. <laughs> we, can feel, we can feel good about something. <laughs> Yeah. Here, how about oh, this? Great. I'll read the normal text. You read the italicized stuff starting on page nine. Okay. Okay. Perfect. I hope we understand each other, Mr. Scrim. A well decorated soldier stands in the center of the town records building as you enter. The librarian, Dominic, seems rather small by comparison, but he is not at all intimidated. 
Oh, I understand you perfectly well, Dominic says, but I don't think you're understanding my position. I am trying to find the truth. The soldier looks up as you approach, then looks ba back down at the bearded man. Just think about what I said. He begins to gesture around him as he walks towards the door. I'd hate to have to tear down this whole place. Dominic waves at you grimly. Hey there, glad to see you stopped by. Who knows what sort of short-sighted low brow length that thug would have gone through to get his point across. He shakes his head and then fluffs his beard. It's just a difference of opinion though. In my research, I've apparently asked the wrong people the wrong questions. It's amazing how reactionary thick skulled people can get about what is written down on a piece of parchment. It's not like anyone's going to even read this little text of mine. Dominic coughs, um, well, except you, of course. Is that why you've come by? I finished up the broad history if you want to take a look. As human civilization expanded across the continent, two major changes occurred. The first is that merchants grew into prominent positions within the cities due to wealth gained from lucrative trade routes, both within the human civilization and with other races. The second change was that the wilds, which were once so dangerous, became much less so, especially in the center of the continent, as areas were converted to farmland and peace was made with the surrounding races in one way or another. The military taxed the trade heavily across the continent, and the merchants grew more and more resentful as larger portions of their earnings were demanded for less justification. The military did nothing and grew fat off the work of others. Hmm, this is very political. Um, this all came to a head in the capital when the leader of the Merchants Guild, Simon Wainwright, organized a coup of the city's military by hiring an entire army of mercenaries with the guild's money and taking control of the city's keep. Very little force was actually required as the city guard was outnumbered and woefully undertrained. The siege of the keep lasted less than two days, not nearly enough time for reinforcements to arrive from the surrounding cities. Once in power, the Merchants Guild quickly won the favor of the citizenry with sweeping social changes, allowing for a great many freedoms and relieving them from the heavy taxation of the military. Once the commoners were on the side of the merchants, there was little hope for the military of regaining control, at which point the mercenary army was no longer required and the military was offered a decent salary to continue keeping watch over the city. After the capital was reformed, the merchants' revolution spread outward from there, quickly deposing the militaristic rule across the continent. As of the writing of this document, only one city remains under the governance of a military presence, Gloomhaven. Next, I really want to get into the development of Gloomhaven and the cl this clash between the merchants and the military in the city, Dominic begins. But as you can see, the military isn't all that happy about it. Dominic hesitates. I was uh, hoping you could all do me a favor, actually. In order to continue to put my pen to paper, I think I'd better get the banking of a powerful merchant to keep me safe. They're all sympathetic to me getting down this history, of course, but they are a little hesitant to publicly support the venture. I'm hoping you could do some convincing for me. You might have the most luck with Councilman Graymare. And that unlocks scenario Oozing Grove, which <laughs> I guess Stop Councilman there. Graymare is that an Oozing Grove? <laughs> Apparently. All right then. And then we have to complete that before we can read more. Yep. Okay, I guess we're gonna end this. Thanks for turning in, tuning in. I'm gonna stop recording. See y'all okay. next time.